Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss how to uh, print the column total in a list report. We will also discuss how to find the subtotal and grand total of a column by using the by statement, how to print a group of data in a page by using the page by statement, and we will also discuss how to use id statement to suppress the observation column in the list report or how to use the by statement and id statement together to create a special formatting in list report. In my previous videos, I have discussed how to use different options and different statement in PROG PRINT to customize the print output. So please watch those videos so that it will be easy to understand. Let's get started. To get the column totals in a list report, we need to use the sum statement and in the sum statement, we can specify the column name for which column we want the total values. And uh, if I want the total for a single column, then I can uh, specify that column name in the sum statement. But if I want the total for multiple columns, then all the column name I can specify in the sum statement. So let's go to SAS and see one example. So here I have a data set uh, student and here I have six uh, columns in that data set name, sex, age, height, weight and marks. So as per my requirement, I want the total mark uh, scored by all the students. So for this mark uh, column, I want the total value. So to do that, what I need to write proc print data equal to student and I want the sum for the column marks, so I will write sum marks. If I will uh, execute this uh, print procedure, I will get the total value, so all the, you know, for the column marks. So the total mark scored by all the student is 1377. So here I have just, you know, created the total for one variable. If I want to uh, find the total for multiple variable, then I can use that as well. So let's see if I want the total for the column height. So here I can put height, sum, marks and height. So if I will execute this, I got total for this two uh, variable, what I have mentioned in the sum statement. So the uh, sum statement will work for all the numeric uh, variables. If your variable is defined as numeric, we can apply the sum statement to that. So this is how we can get the total values. Next is how to find the subtotals and grand totals. So by applying the by statement and sum statement together in a proc print step, we can create the subtotals and grand totals. This is the syntax proc print data equal to data set name. Uh, in the by statement, we need to mention the variable based on uh, based on the variable based on which variable we want to group the data. And in the sum statement, we need to mention the column name for which column we want the total value. So let's see one example. So here in my data set, there is a column uh, 6 and for the uh, column 6, the value entered is either uh, male or female. So I want the total mark uh, scored by all the male student and I want the total mark scored by all the female student and the grand total. Uh, grand total such as the total mark scored by all the students. So to do that, in the proc print, I need to customize this code. So I need to write, I want the total marks code by, uh, you know, based on the sex. So in the by statement, I need to give the column name as a sex. And I want the, uh, uh, you know, total value for marks. So here in the sum statement, I need to give marks. But whenever we use a by statement in a, uh, print procedure, whatever the variable we used in the by statement, the data set has to be sorted. First, the data set has to be sorted based on that by uh, variable. So here my da data set name is uh, student. So I need to sort the student data set based on by, uh, you know, sex variable. So let's sort the data set. Proc sort data equal to student by sex run. So in my previous video, I have discussed how to sort a data set and uh, what are the options we can use in proc sort to customize the output. So please watch that video 
so that it will be easy to understand so now uh, i will just execute this code first so now my data set is uh, sorted now my data set is uh, sorted all the uh, female uh, you know um, where sex equal to female it came together and where sex equal to male it came together so now my data set is sorted so now i can uh, execute this print procedure to get my output so now if i will execute this code for sex equal to female i got all the total and for sex equal to male i got total and at the end i got the grand total so the total mark uh, scored by all the female student is 636 and uh, total mark scored by all the male student is 741 and the uh, total mark scored by all the student is 1377 so by using this uh, uh, by statement and sum statement together we can create the subtotal and we can create the grand total as well so the next is page breaks so uh, by applying the page by statement we can print each subgroup on a separate page this is the syntax proc print data equal to data set name by uh, in the by statement we need to give the variable based on what we want to uh, you know uh, subgroup the data and in the page by also we need to use the same variable so the by uh, the page by always you know used along with the by variable so the by variable and page by we need to use together so let's see one example so here in this report i want to customize this report so all the sex equal to female i want to print in a, uh, a single page and where sex equal to male I want to print in a different page so let's see how to do that so to do that I need to write page by so now if I will execute this code here for sex equal to female I got in one page and sex equal to male i got in separate page and if i as i have used the sum statement so i got the subtotal for sex equal to female subtotal for sex equal to male and the grand total as well so this is the use of page uh, by statement to uh, you know break each report for a particular subgroup next is id statement so by using the id statement we can replace the observation column uh, with the variable used in the by statement so uh, if i don't want the observation column which is the default uh, output uh, generated by proc print i can use id statement and the variable what i mentioned in the id statement that variable will replace the observation column let's see one example So here if I will uh, you know execute this program I got this observation column which was not there in my data set but it got generated when I uh, run this print procedure. So now I don't want this uh, IT column observation column but what I want I want to use the column uh, you know this uh, sex column as a uh, identification column and I want to replace the observation column with the Vari uh, uh, variable sex so let's uh, see how can we do that so here i need to mention id sex so by using that my observation column will be suppressed and the uh, sex column will be used uh, as a observation column or this uh, sex uh, variable will be used as an identification column so i'll do that the sex column is uh, you know the observation column is suppressed and the uh, sex column is used as the identification column and it printed in the leftmost uh, side of the report so this is the use of this id statement next is uh, we can use the id statement and by statement together we can use the id statement and by statement together to create a special formatting in the report so when we use the id statement and by statement together 
it will suppress the observation column and it will uh, suppress the uh, you know by variable each id uh, or by value only prints at the start of each report and if sum is used then it will uh, print for each subgroup let's see how it works so now here if i will use the by statement by sex then only one value will be uh, printed at the beginning and all other value will be blank and it will uh, suppress the observation column as well. So now to this report if I will use the sum statement then it will uh, you know print the uh, uh, value of that uh, you know sex for each subgroup so the first subgroup where uh, you know it is printed for female and the second subgroup it is printed for all the male and it will print the grand total as well so that's all for today thank you for watching this video if it's your first time then please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base and advanced programming if you have any questions or query then please do comment in my upcoming video i am going to discuss more concepts related to proc print so stay tuned and happy coding